Hi guys, uh, this is Benji from Atma Service. So we're here now to perform a clock spring for a Dodge Caliber 2007. So uh, now we have to tell you what we need to do first. So basically, if we are doing airbag or something, some people say uh, you no need to remove the battery terminal, negative battery terminal, but some people say you have to. But dealer says you always remove battery terminal for, for a safety reason. So now if, if you can see the battery terminal here, it's too dirty. Uh, you have to clean later and then we have to put it back to clean this battery sometimes I use only the uh, hot water a boiled hot water and pour it in so that you can clean the uh, the battery but there's a proper uh, procedure if we have a, uh, a baking soda that you can clean the uh, battery that's more better and then of course uh, that's the only way to clean the battery to remove that uh, corrosion on your battery terminal so now we have to proceed the uh, removal of clock spring okay. the clock spring is here so the airbag is on and off uh, the airbag light is on and off so uh, I checked the code so I got the codes so now we have to remove the two bolts here one is here one on the other side here okay it's a 10 mil 10 mil socket okay and then then yeah then just remove it here okay and have to be careful okay so the bolt is here okay now the other side of the bolt you have to remove as well okay pull out the bolt so that you can uh, because sometimes it will not come out with the with the socket so this is the 10 mil socket so, so we have to pop up this airbag. Okay, I'm sorry, because it's only one hand. Okay, and there's a two wire here that you have to disconnect. Okay, from the airbag. There's a wire here and here. So, make sure that the, uh, the airbag is connector will remove properly so when once we remove this uh, connector we have to we have to pinch this side of the connector this one pinch it okay and you can remove and the other one is the same thing okay sorry okay yeah so now we already remove then put it on the seat but make sure that the airbag is sitting like this because once you sit and in this way and it blow then it will fly this uh, airbag pad so now we have to remove this bolt okay and then make sure that your steering is in center then we can take it out this I believe this is a 15 mil socket you have to remove this bolt so it's a 13 mil socket correction okay so we have to twist this bolt okay, now already do send the bolt we have to remove this bolt okay and then after that you have to put some mark on your steering so that you will not misalign so 
for example it's here so you can see the dot here then uh, normally some steering has no guide but this one is a guide there's a guide but make sure you still need to put some marking so that you will not get lost on this uh, steering so even though this uh, guide is already there so sometimes sometimes the guide is is like two of them so you might you might change the position sometimes but yeah to make just to make sure only that your guide is right and the most okay. important once you remove this uh, clock spring and then when you put it back make sure that it will not return the uh, clock spring because if it will return again like uh, like 300 360 degree or 70 degree the uh, the wire will mess up again and then it will broke the uh, new clock spring so yes so probably this is the this is the problem sometimes because once they remove the uh, the steering column and everything and then they let it go and then it will keep rotate and rotate and rotate until the the wire inside of the clock spring will broken yeah cover here okay uh there's a three screw here because this is a Phillips screw okay and Phillips screw here as well but there's a one screw here okay because uh, this screw or oh. Hi, sir. Okay, there is a, this one T20. Okay, make sure that you have T20, but some of them they use 3 320. Okay. Lock up this cover as well. Okay, okay, so, okay now. We have to remove this clock spring now so if you can see this clock spring like very loose so okay so there's a three bolt here one t20 as well and another one is here another yeah you can see there's a bolt here t20 and the other side is another 20 okay so then we have to pull out the uh, the assembly aside of the uh, t20 the 320 here three one two three there's a two allen uh, what Phillips screw here and there's another one here okay so what you have to do to remove the screw here okay you have to pull up pull up this and then you can screw screw out this okay after you pull out the two screw here you can uh, lift up this one so I'm sorry because nobody holds my uh, okay. pull out like this and then also. same thing okay you can pull out this Wire. Uh, switch the uh, wiper switch and the headlight switch okay, like this okay. And so like this. okay after you pull out these two switches the other one is here okay there is a wire here that connected to the two switches okay you can pull out this uh, cover pry it and then it will come out together okay make sure that you will not even though there's it will never change but make sure that you put this one properly okay and this is the now this is the old uh, clock spring clock spring uh, 
assembly so if you look at here so this one is the uh, the guide so that it will uh, it will not rotate this clock spring so don't remove this one yet until you finish everything okay after you put everything back then you can remove this one because this is your guide and some point you can also keep this one in case that you have to remove the uh, some model that you need the uh, the lock for the uh, clock spring enable to to rotate the uh, clock spring and broken okay and then yeah just keep it this one put some model like right here dodge uh, or whatever like caliber or whatever because sometimes they are all the same but not all of them of course but you still keep some special tools this is your special tools now uh, for your uh, for your uh, airbag job okay and then now we have to put it back together of this okay and the here okay put it back here back okay but yeah as you can see here you have to install back here okay for your okay so once you hear the click then now it's already here so you can put it back together put the two screw here okay two screw here uh, one other one screw here okay so have to be careful because now the weather is too cold so everything plastic is brittle it's easy to break so have to be careful for that and then we have to put it back the uh, the wire put the back put the back wire here at the back okay and then put it back here okay so everything is connected now so now you're you're clear to put everything the three screw here one two three the t20 screw put it back together to, to install this bolt you have to prepare this one because this one because this screw it's too long it will touch here so at least you have a small socket like this like this to put it one here okay so more easier for you okay and also here okay but this one can use this uh, allen key or if you have these uh, tools t20 as well so it's more better and easier as long as it's a uh, flexible that uh, you can turn here because if you are using the screw t t t20 uh, screw driver can't can turn because of this okay can it have to put the uh, steering wheel but of course you can't uh, put this one and if the uh, the guide is here so you have to remove this guide enable to put back the uh, steering wheel okay so but you have to still be careful not do not rotate this uh, clock spring please do not rotate the clock spring that is the very important that's why you're replacing this uh, clock spring okay okay so i remove already the uh, this spring uh this uh lock okay then uh then you can uh, put it back the uh the steering wheel okay now we have to put it back all the cover here okay but still remain the uh Still remain your lock here okay don't 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 ever ever remove so that you will not rotate the uh, clock spring okay put it back all together the cover okay so that uh, okay, finish this one before you put the steering column or the steering uh, steering wheel here so so okay I, I put it back together with the the the, uh, the steering cover here so now I have to put this uh, steering wheel here. So now it's a time to remove this clock spring uh, lock. Okay, remove it. But make sure 
seal nut, rotate the uh, clock spring, okay? Then put it here, this one under, under here, the steering column, this wire, okay? And then this white connector, put here, okay? Put on the steering uh, clock spring okay. wheel. So now when you put it back, as you can see the mark here and the guide, but of course that there is a guide here so you will never get lost. So then put it back together. Okay. Okay, like that. So so now you're still in a proper alignment. You never change. It depends if this car has a need to be done the alignment. It depends if there's any problem in the suspension or whatever. So that's the problem. <laughs> it's not as long as you put it back the steering wheel in center okay nothing nothing to be worried as long as the clock spring not rotate uh, several times or so many times oh yeah so it's not a problem as well so now it's ready to tighten the bolt 13 mil okay 13 mil socket okay I use the 13 mil socket like this okay don't use impact socket here okay don't use power tools okay because you might break the uh, thread of this uh, steering column okay then just hold by your feet the steering wheel so that it will not rotate while you're holding the video <laughs> the, okay the camera okay so just slightly tight okay yeah. The tightening bolt within the specs, so no need to be worried. The final is your pad, okay, the airbag pad. Put it back, put this one here, okay, make sure it's a, it's a proper uh, installation of the connector. Not loose, not everything, so everything is good, clear to go. After you install the pad, Don't use impact socket, uh, yeah, or power tools for this. Just use hand tighten, okay? Not hand tighten, just the uh, ratchet. Or oh, as long as you never over tight this bolt, that's the most important here. It's already all together, okay. So now uh, the thing is uh, make sure that everything is works good, okay. And again, what uh, what tools you need to be use, okay. A ten. Uh, 10 mil socket for the uh, side airbag bolt 13 mil socket for the center uh, bolt in the steering uh, wheel okay screw for the two screw here here and your screw on your uh, switch there's a two also screw here and one T20 torch T20 okay you have to use this one and another one also another T20 a shorter T20 for the uh, clock spring uh, assembly screw okay you can also use the magnet okay I use the magnet to remove the bolt from here okay because sometimes it's hard to remove Okay, and then use the uh, ratchet. Okay, that's all. That's all you need. That's all the tools you need to do the clock spring for the Dodge Caliber 2007. 
Okay, I hope that I can. I hope that I. Uh, I you learn for this uh, video. If you if you like this video, please subscribe now and click like for this video. Thank you very much for for your patience for my video because it's not really good because I'm just alone here so and nobody holds my camera for me to do this uh, job but anyway uh, thank thank you very much for this by the way I have to connect the battery for the last job okay box wrench for the battery okay but before that I have to clean this battery before we put it back together.